Piers Morgan, 57, took to Twitter and reacted to the news the Queen would be taking further time out after she was unable to attend a Privy Council meeting tonight. The 96-year-old monarch was set to attend the gathering on Wednesday evening with the new Prime Minister, Liz Truss, and her new Cabinet Ministers. However, Her Majesty has been told by medical professionals to rest meaning her prior arrangements this evening, September 7, will be rescheduled. The talk TV presenter, who boasts 7. 9 million followers, offered his well wishes to the Queen amid growing concern amongst the British public. Piers tweeted, wishing the Queen all the best after her latest health setback. Social media users rushed to comment on the post, as many also shared their concerns, before offering their best wishes to the Her Majesty. Twitter user, Atiyam Curry wrote, How beautiful and wonderful is she! Just swells my heart! At Keely Wickspend, it's very worrying! At Tony Depend, she is 96. It doesn't matter if she is queen or not. At 96, you should be resting anyway. At is offered, may she recover soon. She is a remarkable lady her resilience and strength is an example to us all, at Annette added. A statement from Buckingham Palace said, after a full day yesterday, Her Majesty has this afternoon accepted doctor's advice to rest. This means that the Privy Council meeting that had been due to take place this evening will be rearranged. Following the medic's orders, the Queen has remained in her Balmoral estate in Scotland where she appointed Ms Truss as the new PM on Tuesday. The Queen, who has been experiencing ongoing mobility issues, met with a new Prime Minister who would have taken her oath as First Lord of the Treasury. Tom Hanks' wife Rita Wilson Teary as couple dine with troubled son latest Michael Bublé bids farewell to family just weeks after baby's birth admission Rachel Riley's eye-popping display leaves countdown viewers distracted pictures, the advice to miss the meeting and stay at home is not believed to involve a hospital stay. Beyond Buckingham Palace saying the Queen pulled out on the advice of her doctors after a full day yesterday, there is no further official commentary on her health. As head of state, it is the Queen's duty to appoint the Prime Minister who leads the government. The Queen has been taking her traditional summer break in Scotland with family and guests and she usually stays at the estate from August to October as well as ongoing mobility issues in recent months, the monarch had COVID in February. In the past seven months, Buckingham Palace has tended to confirm the Queen's attendance at public engagements on the day, depending on how she is feeling. During this period, Her Majesty has missed a number of high-profile events, including the state opening of Parliament, the Platinum Jubilee concert and the commemorative Derby. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have returned to the UK to attend several charity events, 